a very warm welcome to one and all students. So today in this important lab session, I'm going to answer three important questions about the Lex tool. Lex tool. First is what? Second is why? And the third one is how? Now, what is Lex? Right? Why Lex? Again, it is question how a Lex is going to be work, right? So the first is what? So basically, Lex is a tool. Lex is a tool to generate the C code from the regular expressions, right? It is basically Lex compiler. Why it is called Lex compiler? Because every compiler has some input and uh, it produces some output. So the regular expression will be the input for the compiler and the output for the same is C code. So, this is the answer of what. Now, <clears throat> next is why we need Lex. Now to, in order to give the answer of this particular question is, first we need to understand, let us suppose our objective is, objective is to design a code for integer pattern, right? So if I talk about to generating a code in earlier time, what we uh, did is we <coughs> used to generate the C code, right? And this particular C code uh, may take N LOC. LOC means line of code. N key value could be like 1, 2, 3, up to N. It may be 100, it may be 200, it may be 300, it may be 1000 LOC, which means, you know, uh, to generate, uh, to sorry, uh, to implement a very simple problem, we might have a huge code, huge number of line code. And for to, in order to design a particular code, we also need, you know, some time and effort, right? So it was very, very tough. So what we do is, we do is basically we uh, used here Lex, right? we use here Lex tool. So what Lex is doing actually, we are just providing the regular expression. And this Lex tool is able to generate the particular C code within the mini seconds, within the mini seconds. So what is the conclusion? The conclusion is in earlier time, in earlier time, the NLOC code was completed in hours. If and only if, if and only if, if we or you have good knowledge about the coding. Now, Lex has completely solved this problem. So, what is the input for Lex? Is? A regular expression. So what is the in, a regular expression of an integer? An integer <coughs> should be start with zero and end with nine. Yes or no? So it is zero to nine. Zero to nine asterisk. So what does it mean? It is compulsorily because its uh, mode is one. So it is compulsory and 
at the whole combination of 0, 9. Let's suppose 0, 1, 2, 3. So this is compulsory and 1, 2, 3 is the combination 0 to 9. So this is basically the integers regular expression. Now this regular expression is the input to the legs and in a result it produce an effective C code. So this is the answer of why we use Lex. That, uh, so Lex is basically a tool which is generate, uh, you know, uh, C code in very minimal time. So that's why we also call it Flex, fast lexical analyzer. All right. Now, next question is how, how, how we use Lex. So uh, today uh, I'm going to take my second uh, lab session. So in this particular important lab session, I'll be uh, able to show you the hands-on with Lex tool, right? So what we do is in the previous lecture, if you are uh, able to see the previous lecture, what we saw in previous lecture, the working of Lex tool was like this. Let's suppose this is my file. This is my source file in which we are just giving the input as a regular expression, right? Now this file name is, let's suppose program dot L. L is the extension of the particular file because it is a Lex file. Now this particular file will be treated as an input for the Lex compiler. For the Lex compiler. Now this Lex compiler is able to generate, is able to generate a file, a file. This file is Lex.yy dot c which means the extension is c which means you know this lex compiler is generating the c code c code right now the command cmd the command is gcc gcc sorry Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm just erasing it. Okay, uh, this is the second step. The first step is lex. This is the command lex program dot l plus enter. When we press enter upon writing this particular command on the terminal, then the particular source file will be converted into the second file. This is a first file and this is a second file. This is the output of Lex compiler and this file will get converted into the lex.yy.c, which means if we open this file, then we will see an LOC code, number of lines, line of code right within the milliseconds or we can say uh, microseconds right so this is the basic working of a lex compiler now what is the next step the next step is this lex file will be treated as an input for the c compiler now the C compiler is, you know, into the existence and the command which we are using is CC, CC means C compiler. If there is GCC, hoga, then we will write GCC as well. It will depend upon the compiler. CC or GCC lacks dot c c lex dot y y dot c means you have to write gcc then space then write the file name same plus hit the enter if we hit the enter 
then the C compiler will be able to generate the A dot out, A dot out. This is the file number three, right? Now this A dot out is the output file. If we want to, you know, get the output from this particular file, we have to write A dot out. If we hit the enter, then we have to see the output, right? Now this is the working, uh, which I have explained also in previous lab session. Now, first we do what? The prerequisite. Prerequisites. What are the prerequisite is Ubuntu or Code Chef, right? Uh, there might be a question from you, you, you guys, that why Ubuntu? Why don't Window? Right? Windows may be perfect, and there is no problem, but it will be, you know, better in Ubuntu because it is very, very easy. Setup is very easy in Ubuntu now. Some people will say, uh, sir, uh, we have windows in our machine and we don't have windows. So there is a solution on windows. We can install the Oracle virtual machine, Oracle virtual machine and Oracle virtual machine par hum log Ubuntu, Ubuntu ka koi bhi version install kar sakte hai. It will work with, you know, it will work uh, as same as we are working with Ubuntu, right? So what we do is we have to make a particular folder. In the particular folder, we have the program.l. Now, when this particular source code will get executed by the Lex compiler, then in the same folder, a file will be generated, which is known as lex.yy.c. Now upon executing this file, upon compiling this file through the C compiler, then the another file, file number three, this is file number one, this is file number two, this is file number three. Now this a dot out, now this is a dot out. Once we execute this file, then we will be able to see the output of the particular program, right? Now, this is all about the three you know, terms, what, why, and how, right? Now, let's move on towards uh, the hands-on with, you know, uh, Lex tool, right? So I have already installed in my machine, the Oracle VMware. So you people are requested to do the same. So I have installed the Ubuntu 20 version, right? Uh, in the particular, I know 10 GB space. So I'm just clicking the start button. If I start this, then it will reflect some kind of uh, messages. So don't bother about it. Don't bother about these messages. So let's wait for a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes. Once it will get, you know, loaded into the machine. Let's wait. guys it will take uh, some time yeah it is started right so it it is started now go to the terminal first go to the terminal this is the terminal activities then we have to terminal go to the terminal the first command is pdit gedit the first command that you need to write 
very first time is sudo apt to get update you have to update your machine right then after check then after check whether whether our machine has the gcc or not so what we do is we have to write gcc space hyphen hyphen version now if we hit enter then uh, there will be two possibilities either it will show a version or it will not if it is not showing version that it means it is not installed and if it is showing then it is uh, you know installed so if it is not installed then why, what uh, we can write is sudo apt get install gcc right now once we will hit this command then it will get uh, install in our machine then we can check here gcc version right now it is showing 9.3.0 all right now the second important thing is uh, next is about the lex so for what we do for lex is we have to once again write lex hyphen hyphen version the same thing will be with this particular command if it shows something positive then it means lex is installed otherwise it is not installed so if it is not installed then we have to write sudo apt get install bison flex right so if we install uh, if we hit this particular command then uh, we'll uh, able to install the lex into the machine now let's check if it is not if it is or it is not so then we have to write lex version yes now it is showing the flex 2.6.4 now it means my machine has the lex tool right so now what what we do is uh, we have to make a folder on the desktop or uh, any other uh, at any other place as you can uh, it's the up on your convenience right so go to the folder and right click here just open the th terminal right so close this particular terminal close this particular uh, uh, g editor now open the terminal now why i am opening this terminal particular terminal through this folder because i need not uh, you know provide the path right so it is already taken the path uh, desktop and cd so the first command uh, which i need to write is g edit right g edit my first program is about the counting of word so i have to write here counting words w o r d s dot l extension will be l now this is the file so i can see in the particular folder uh, yes wait a minute yes now this is the file now what we do is see now i am just uh, writing the program of the lex code how we will write now this is the program dot l all right now what is our objective uh, lex code write a uh, lex code to count the number of words in the given string okay now what we do is uh, how our program structure will look like our program structure will be 
you know in three cases three cases three categories whatever we would say no problem the first is called declaration section declaration section there are three sections in our lex code declaration section then we have to write rule section rule section then we have the subroutine section means all subroutines functions are defined under the third section right so any lex tool any lex code will be containing these three portions so now we'll go to the uh, machine so first is we have to write this is declaration section declaration dic e c e l a r a t i o n s section right so how we will start declaration section is we have to start declaration section is like this and how we end this we have to uh, end like this so now in this particular section we are just writing the two header file first one is you are uh, very familiar stdio.h right and the second one is we have to copy and we have to paste over here the second one is string dot h s t r i n g string dot h now we have to take words is equals to zero we have to take an integer variable with uh, you know initial value is zero so that it we do store the words now the second one is rule section right so inside the rule section how can we start the rule section the rule section will be begin with like this and it will be end with the like this right so now i'm just writing the uh regular expression for the words so what is a word word kya hota hai word is a collection of alphabets alphabets all right now alphabets kya ho sakte hain bhai aapka capital a to capital z ho sakta hai hai a to z ho sakta hai 0 to 9 ho sakta hai these are the combinations that comes under the alphabets now what is the uh, regular expression of it it is a to z right or capital a to capital z or 0 to 9 it's combination okay so this is the word so the same regular expression we need to write over here so we have to write a to z a to capital z 0 to 9 all right so this if if this happen then what should we do is we should uh, you know counter or uh, we should increment the word variable right word plus plus all right we should uh, word plus plus next we'll write backslash n means if we if we hit and enter then what should it print it should print print f print f it should print the total number of words percent d backslash n all right comma words okay and finally and finally this rule section is over now the last is that uh, subroutine section so we have to write integer 
y y wrap y y wrap function we, we need to write here void all right so this is the function which we need to write each and every time all right to wrap something uh, you know or to uh, wrap the uh, what we can say is regular expression inside a lexical analyzer right next we need to write int mean right inside the mean what we need to write is y y lex right y y lex then we have to write r e t u r n return zero now there is a question uh, why i have written the y y lex y y lex if we don't write the y y lex then it will not generate the c code all right this is the function which is able to generate the c code and the y y wrap y y lex sorry and y y wrap is wrapping what it is wrapping it is wrapping the regular expressions or is right so this is the whole code now if i see then this is the counting words dot l then uh, go to the you know, remove this is remove this is also remove this is also remove i need not those you know. now i have to write lex uh, lex counting words w o r d s counting words counting words dot l can't open counting words oh sorry lex bad character unknown error okay this basically is uh, you know these are the error bad character in second line in third line and in fourth line okay we can write like this we can write like this uh this is this should be like this now if we save it and let's see how it is responding next time so go to the terminal once again now it is successfully uh, you know compiled if we able to see go to the folder then the second file lex.yy.c is generated as i said there are two files now go to the terminal once again now what we need to write is we need to write uh, gcc lex dot yy dot c if we hit the enter then it is successfully compiled uh, if we go to the folder then i have to i can see these are the there are three files a dot out counting words and lex dot yy dot c as i discussed earlier now a dot out is generated now uh, i'm able to um, i want to see the output uh, for the same so for this uh, i need to write dot a dot out okay now ankit tomar is working with 
ग्राफिक The total number of words are seven. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. It is uh, there are uh, how many words are there? There are seven words, so it is printing seven. So that is how we can uh, see. That is how we can implement any Lex uh, code, any uh, particular code in you know compiler lab. So uh, I believe uh, it is enough for today. If you stuck anywhere, then rewind this video and go to the part and uh, clear the particular, uh, you know, section, right? Okay, thank you. Thank you for all. That's it for today.